a storm of unrest is on its way. Online news and food store managers warn that a crisis will occur by the end of August. Prepare yourself for possible shortages and price increases on several essential items. These findings are alarming, and we must act quickly as August ends. Some of these shortages might not occur, but several essential products face significant cost increases and possible scarcity. Stocking up on essentials is a good idea. It is important to pay close attention to the last item on this list due to its potential impact. Take a look at the 12 foods and their current statistics. The number one food item is powdered milk. As viewers, it is important that we consider the current and future challenges our food supply chain may face. Recent news has highlighted increased scrutiny of the cattle industry due to environmental concerns. This is especially true for greenhouse gas emissions. Unexpectedly, cow flatulence is a major contributor to methane emissions, which are powerful greenhouse gases. This is not just a passing trend. It could lead to stricter regulations for cattle farming and impact the availability and prices of dairy products, including milk. Other threats, such as animal diseases like bird flu, can have unanticipated effects on milk production and cattle. In 2023, the U.S. saw its worst outbreak of the avian flu. Millions of chickens died. A similar outbreak in cattle could have a severe impact on milk production. Powdered milk is a good option to stockpile in case of disruptions. Powdered milk is an extremely versatile and durable product. It retains the majority of the benefits of fresh milk. It is also rich in nutrients like calcium, vitamin D, and protein that are essential for bone health, immune system function, and general well-being. Powdered milk has a shelf life of 12 to 24 months. When stored in a dry, cool place, powdered milk is a great option for long-term storage. As of 2022, U.S. dairy production was approximately 223 billion pounds per year. Per capita consumption has steadily declined from 247 pounds per person per year in 1975 to 146 pounds in 2021. The decline in milk consumption is due to the increasing popularity of plant-based alternatives. It also highlights the volatility and changes that are occurring within the dairy industry. You've probably heard about attempts to turn our tasty cheeseburgers into bug burgers, and that lab-grown beef is critical. Meat is a great source of essential proteins and fats. Canned meat is fantastic. If it does not expire, then it will last forever. This is true, even though many people may not believe it. Before meat becomes scarce and loses popularity, I think there will be shortages because of the closing of meat processing factories and other issues. Stock up now, while you still can. This is more than a suggestion, it's a necessity. The meat supply chain faces unprecedented disruptions. Our meat supply chain is under pressure, from cyber attacks against meat plants to a growing demand for alternative proteins, such as insect-based meat or lab-grown beef. The traditional meat industry faces a major threat. Meats contain essential proteins and fats that are necessary for brain function, muscle mass, and general health. Cattle, in particular, are a long-lasting and reliable food source. We process and seal cans of meat to maintain their nutritional value for an extended period of time. You can store meat cans for many years without compromising their quality. You can store cans of meat for up to five years or even longer with proper storage. This makes them great items to stockpile. According to the United States Department of Agriculture, an average American consumes about 222 pounds. The average American consumes 222 pounds of meat per year. There is a high risk of shortages due to the challenges the meat industry faces. In June 2021, a cyber attack against JBS, the world's biggest meat processing company, resulted in the temporary closure of all U.S. beef plants that supply almost a quarter of the beef in America. These events highlight the vulnerability in our meat supply chain. Moreover, the nutritional value is irreplaceable. One serving of canned chicken, beef, or pork is a great source of iron, zinc, and B vitamins such as Ni and B12. These nutrients are essential for maintaining energy and supporting the immune and cognitive functions of those who use meat as their primary source of protein. The pantry should always include canned meats. Rice is the third item. 
geopolitical tensions, adverse weather conditions, and other factors are causing unprecedented challenges to the global rice market. It is therefore not only advisable to stockpile before August, geopolitical tensions have disrupted the global rice market, particularly after the Russian invasion of Ukraine. India, which exports 40% of the world's rice, also imposed export restrictions for non-Basmati varieties on July 23rd. The action removed 9 million metric tons of rice from international markets, which caused prices to skyrocket in 2023. Weather anomalies, such as La Nina or El Nino, have further aggravated the situation, disrupting rice production across major growing regions. We expect these weather patterns to persist into 2024, potentially maintaining high rice prices. Rice prices are high. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, rice prices have reached a record level since 2007 to 2008's food crisis. This is due to a combination of factors. Even though the U.S. may not have felt the full impact of this crisis yet, it's important to take proactive measures. You can ensure that your source of carbohydrates and protein is non-perishable if you stock up now. When combined with beans, it provides all essential amino acids, making it an ideal staple food for emergencies. It is impossible to overstate how important this is for global food security. Currently, restrictions on the Indian rice supply significantly affect many countries in Southeast Asia and Africa. Price increases and food insecurity are increasing in countries like Nigeria and the Philippines. In Nigeria, rice prices increased by 61% from September to November 2023. The Philippines also saw a price spike that was the highest in 14 years, which prompted the government's fourth intervention. Stock up on oats now before August, as they are versatile, nutritious, and essential. The global oats industry has recently faced major challenges due to the adverse weather conditions that will affect crop yields by 2020. Poor weather in Canada caused a 12% drop in oat production. Similar issues persisted in subsequent years and affected global supply chains. Oats are a great food to stock up on because they have a long shelf life. They can last up to two years if stored correctly. Therefore, they are an ideal choice for emergency supplies. The current market analysis projects a significant growth of 6.6% per kilogram for the oats industry through 2034. This highlights an increasing demand for oats and possible future shortages. Oats are an excellent source of nutrition. Oats contain a lot of dietary fiber, specifically beta-glucan. Studies have demonstrated that this fiber can reduce cholesterol and enhance heart health. Oats also contain important vitamins and minerals, including manganese and phosphorus. They also contain iron, zinc, and folate. The high antioxidant content of oats, including avananthamides, helps reduce inflammation and promotes overall health. Oats have gained popularity over the past few years due to their versatility and numerous health benefits. They are available in a variety of forms, including rolled and steel-cut oatmeal. You can also use oatmeal flour and instant oats. These all work well for a range of recipes, from baking to savory dishes. Oats have become popular because of their adaptability. Despite the increasing demand for oats as an ingredient in traditional and modern diets, the market price fluctuates. For example, the oat price has decreased by 15.34% in just over a year, indicating market volatility. The long-term outlook indicates steady growth due to consumers' increasing preference for nutritious and healthy foods. Quaker Oats, General Mills, and Kellogg, among others, are leading the industry in innovation and strategic expansion. By 2034, we expect the market to reach 17,332.1 million. The cooking oils are essential for baking and cooking. Not only are they a vital ingredient in many recipes, but their versatility and health benefits make them essential. Several global factors threaten the stability of the cooking oil supply. Understanding these risks is essential to ensuring you have enough cooking oil before the end of August. According to the USDA, Americans will eat approximately 39 pounds. By 2020, Americans are expected to consume approximately 39 pounds of soybean oil per capita. Other oils, such as canola oil, olive oil, and sunflower oil are also in high demand. 
this oil's global production is more susceptible to climate change and geopolitical tensions. The USDA predicted a 4 million ton reduction in the global production of vegetable oil for 2021-2022, compared with the previous year. The USDA has predicted that global vegetable oil production will decrease by 4 million tons between 2021 and 2022 compared to last year. We expect this reduction to lead to increased prices and potential shortages. It's important to get your supplies now. Olive oil is known for its high levels of monounsaturated fatty acids and antioxidants. It is an essential part of the Mediterranean diet and offers many health benefits. Canola oil is another popular option. It has a low content of saturated fats and a high level of omega-3 fatty acids, which is beneficial to heart health. Many households use vegetable oil for everyday cooking. Stockpiling these oils is a good idea, given the current market conditions. Delays may lead to increased prices or difficulties in finding these products. Recent market reports and analyses from reliable sources like the USDA and Global Agricultural Monitors highlight this urgency. Honey is a must-have item, especially now that we are approaching the end of August. Honey's importance goes beyond its sweetness. It is an essential source of nutrition and health that can prove vital in times of emergency. Honey has antimicrobial properties that can help in wound healing and infection control. The hydrogen peroxide and glucose oxidase present in honey, along with its low pH level, create an environment that inhibits bacterial growth. You can use honey as a natural antiseptic to treat a wide range of ailments. Studies also demonstrate that honey consumption aids in reducing seasonal allergies. Local honey contains pollen, which can build immunity over time. This is particularly advantageous as we transition into autumn, a season that can trigger numerous allergies. Honey is rich in antioxidants, such as phenols and flavonoids. These can reduce inflammation and oxidative stress in the body. Honey is also rich in vitamins and minerals, such as vitamin C, iron, and calcium. Honey is a great source of energy for Americans. A tablespoon contains approximately 64 calories and 17 grams of carbohydrate, mostly in the form of natural sugars. Each person consumes approximately 1.3 pounds of honey per year. However, because of environmental stressors, pesticides, and population decline, there could be a shortage of honey. The USDA reported that bee colonies declined by 6% between January and June 2021. Therefore, it is even more important to stock up while honey is still available. As a U.S.-based viewer, you must act immediately. Do not wait for honey prices to skyrocket or until it becomes difficult to locate stockpiles before August 31st to ensure you have this versatile food in your emergency supply. To get the most health benefits, Make sure you buy raw and pure honey. Avoid pasteurized honey or honey-containing additives, as they can decrease its nutritional value. Stocking up on salt is seventh on the list of items you should stockpile. This is not just a suggestion, but a warning. Despite the absence of any visible shortages, the salt industry faces significant bottlenecks. This could lead to severe scarcity within the next few years. The recent harsh winter has already increased the demand for desing salt straining supply chains. The COVID-19 epidemic has also caused production delays and labor shortages that make it hard for suppliers to keep up with the demand. Salt is essential not only for food preservation, but also for maintaining vital bodily functions such as water balance and electrolyte levels. Our bodies can't function properly without enough salt. This leads to serious health problems. Morton Salt is a reliable product that highlights the seriousness of the situation. For more than a century, Morton Salt has been a household staple in American homes. Recent supply chain disruptions, coupled with increased demand, have caused significant shortages in various industries. These range from the food processing industry to chemical manufacturing to winter maintenance. In 2023, U.S. consumption of salt is estimated at 55 million metric tons, with 48 million metric tons reported as direct consumption. This high demand highlights the need for a reliable salt supply. Winter is approaching and will put additional strain on the limited supply of salt for roads. Failure to maintain roads could cause more accidents and disruptions. 
businesses and consumers are already feeling its impact. The food processing industry will likely increase its costs as it heavily relies on salt to preserve foods. Further, water treatment plants and chemical producers, who use large amounts of salt in their operations, are also experiencing disruptions. You must act immediately to address these issues. Do not wait for the situation to worsen. Stock up now on enough salt to last you through the next few months. Diversify your salt supply by looking at alternatives like pink Himalayan or sea salt. These can provide some relief when traditional table salt is in short supply. Don't wait until August to see if the shelves are empty. Make sure you have enough salt on hand to deal with any shortages that may occur. Be aware of local availability and act quickly to secure the eight most important resources, canned vegetables. Canned vegetables can be a great way to have nutritious food for many years. Global canned food demand has steadily increased, with an annual compound growth rate of 3.9% between 2021 and 2026. The USDA attributes this growth to a growing awareness of the benefits of canned foods, including their long shelf life, convenience, and ability to retain vital nutrients. On average, Americans consumed 92.7 pounds per person, with a large portion of that coming from canned vegetables. Canned vegetables are a good source of vitamins and nutrients, such as potassium, vitamin A, vitamin C, and dietary fiber. These nutrients are essential for maintaining good health, supporting the immune system, and reducing chronic disease risk. Stocking up on canned vegetables will ensure you get enough nutrition when fresh produce is scarce or expensive. The availability and price of fresh vegetables have fluctuated due to a variety of factors, including extreme weather, disruptions in supply chains, and economic instability. Stocking up on canned vegetables will help you minimize the impact these disruptions have on your diet and ensure that you are getting enough essential nutrients. You can use canned vegetables for both emergencies and everyday convenience. Meal preparation becomes easier. It is especially useful for households with busy schedules where it can be difficult to prepare vegetables on a regular basis. You can also use canned vegetables in a variety of dishes from soups and salads to casseroles and stews. This allows you to plan your meals more efficiently. Cans of vegetables are often as nutritious as fresh or frozen vegetables. Modern canning techniques preserve vitamins and minerals. In some cases, the canning procedure's heat can enhance bioavailability. In today's world, canned vegetables are not a threat to nutrition. Now more than ever, it is important to have a fully stocked pantry. A reserve of canned veggies can give you peace of mind. The COVID-19 outbreak has brought to light the vulnerability of food supply chains. This is an easy way to protect your health and well-being. Stock up on canned vegetables now, given the uncertain times we are in as August ends. To ensure that you have enough, visit your local supermarket or order online. You can find a wide variety of vegetables in canned tomatoes. Include vegetables like carrots, corn, green beans, and peas. This will ensure that you are getting a wide variety of nutrients. Ensure you utilize the oldest cans first by rotating your stock. This will maintain the freshness and nutritional value of Stockpile 9. Many dishes can utilize pasta as a versatile and long-lasting ingredient. The National Pasta Association states that the average American consumes 20 pounds of pasta per year. Wheat prices could fluctuate due to disruptions in global supply chains and climate conditions. This would make pasta more expensive and more difficult to find. In 2021, the United States experienced a 23% rise in Durham wheat, which affected pasta production. Pasta is a great choice for stockpiling because it has a long shelf life, lasting as much as two years when stored properly. It is important that American households consider stockpiling as we near the end of the month. Geopolitical uncertainties are rife, and the conflict in Ukraine is one of them. Ukraine is a major global wheat supplier. Further disruptions may lead to price increases and shortages. Securing pasta supplies can help you save money. Prices may increase, and you will have a steady source of food. Pasta is more than just filler. It is a significant carbohydrate source that provides the energy needed for daily activities. One serving of pasta has around 200 calories. The pasta contains 7 grams of protein and 2 grams of fiber. Its nutritional profile is ideal for a balanced meal especially when combined with vegetables, 
healthy fats, and lean proteins. It is versatile, offering nutritional value as well as culinary versatility. Stocking up on staples such as pasta can have severe economic consequences. Food prices have a tendency to rise during times of economic instability, according to historical data. Food prices rose significantly during the 2008 financial crisis, affecting household budgets all over the country. Preventive measures are prudent. Pasta's shelf stability makes it a good candidate for long-term storage. You can store pasta in your pantry for up to two years in a dry, cool place. You can purchase it in large quantities without worrying about spoilage. This will ensure that you always have food available during times of emergency or financial stress. Vinegar is a major challenge because we are experiencing a shortage of crops and products needed to make vinegar. Vinegar is a great prep item for cleaning and preserving. It is antimicrobial. Vinegar has a shelf life of forever. Buy it in a large jug. The disruptions to agricultural production are causing a shortage of vinegar, a household staple. Recent climate changes, including droughts and unexpected freezes, have impacted vinegar-producing crops such as apples, grapes, and grains. The supply of vinegar has drastically decreased as a result, and this trend is likely to persist in the future. As the harvest season approaches, the scarcity of ENT crops increases, which has a direct impact on vinegar production. People have used vinegar in many ways, not just as a condiment since ancient times. It's a powerful preserver, which makes it a valuable food storage solution, especially when fresh produce may not be readily available. Vinegar's acidity inhibits mold and bacteria growth, extending the shelf life of perishable foods. It is especially important to do this now, as supply chain issues continue to disrupt the availability of fresh food. Vinegar's antimicrobial qualities make it a great cleaning agent. A reliable, natural cleaner is essential in a world that's increasingly concerned about hygiene and cleanliness. You can use vinegar as a natural cleaner to clean surfaces, eliminate odors, and even eliminate stubborn stains. Its versatility makes it a must-have in every household. Vinegar has a shelf life that is very stable, if stored in a dark, cool place, vinegar can last indefinitely. It is therefore a great candidate for stockpiling. Vinegar doesn't require refrigeration or any special conditions for storage, so it is easy to store large quantities. It is wise to purchase vinegar in large quantities while the supply is still plentiful in the United States. The end of August will soon be here, and the chance to get enough vinegar is rapidly dwindling. Avoid waiting until the vinegar runs out and the prices skyrocket. Purchase vinegar in large jugs at your local supermarket. This is an investment in your future. The average American household can easily double or triple their vinegar consumption during times of scarcity and increase cleaning and preservation needs. Purchase at least three to five gallons. It may seem like an excessive precaution, but with its long shelf life and many uses, this is a sensible and necessary one. It's important to understand the seriousness of the situation. The U.S. currently has a severe shortage of peanut butter. Recent reports have highlighted a number of factors that are contributing to the scarcity. These include poor harvests and supply chain disruptions, as well as increased demand. This causes not only a price increase, but also a shortage of peanut butter in stores. The changing weather patterns in Argentina and other key growing regions are a major cause of the peanut shortage. One of the worst droughts in two decades marked the 23rd growing season in 2022. This led to a drastic reduction in crop yields. Argentina, one of the world's largest peanut suppliers, reported a drop in production of 35% compared to previous seasons. This shortage has a ripple effect, affecting global supplies and driving up U.S. prices. Disruptions in the supply chain and increased demand exacerbate the situation. The recent recall of gift peanut butter due to salmonella contamination only exacerbated the situation. The market lost a significant portion of its supply. Due to the high demand for other brands, such as Skippy and Peter Pan, they are having difficulty keeping up, resulting in intermittent shortages and increased prices for American consumers. Now is the perfect time to stockpile peanut butter before it becomes more expensive and scarce. Peanut butter is a pantry staple that's not only versatile, but also a great source of essential proteins and fats. 
Stockpiling peanut butter is easy because of its long shelf life. Even if you keep it past the expiration date, however, it will still be edible and have a reduced nutritional value. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, USDA, despite challenging growing conditions, peanut consumption in the U.S. increased by 3.7% and exports by 4.5% by 2023. Due to rising production costs and fewer peanut harvests, supply pressure is high. Currently, the dried bean industry is experiencing major transportation disruptions in the United States. This could cause supply problems on the shelves. It is important to stock up on dried beans now before August ends. According to the USDA, dry bean acres will increase by 15.2% in 2024 compared to last year. However, this does not ensure immediate availability because of ongoing supply chain problems and increased export demand. Dry beans are a staple in any pantry, particularly during uncertain times. The beans are affordable and have a long shelf life. They make a great item to store over time. The preparation of dried beans requires heat, but the nutritional value is worth it. They are a good source of carbohydrates that provide energy. Also, they contain a lot of fiber and proteins. The average U.S. dry bean consumption per person is approximately 7.5 pounds. Pinto beans are the most popular variety. Different dishes and cuisines increasingly use navy beans and black beans. The demand for beans is increasing due to the growing global interest in ethnic cuisines and plant-based diets. We export around 20% of our dry beans, which could lead to shortages in the domestic market. You must act immediately. The dried bean market is highly volatile. Prices vary greatly depending on the type and whether they are organic. The estimated price of Great Northern Beans, for example, is 43 cents a pound. Organic Great Northern Beans, on the other hand, cost 886 cents per pound. Due to this volatility, it is important to purchase your beans before the prices increase further. Thanks for watching.